Well, ladies and gentlemen, one of the things we've been covering a lot lately are self-owns, right? We talked about Rich from Review Tech USA with Melanie Mack, that massive self-own. There's been self-owns all over the internet going around right now, and they're all quite hilarious. But this one in particular is really ridiculous. So we have an article here from IGN, and it's a it's a snippet of this article that was clipped by Grums. Shout out to Grums over on Twitter. If you're not following him, please go check him out. But this particular um, snippet right here is from an article talking about Eve and Stellar Blade, the new game that just got the demo released. Now, the thing about this is that apparently the article is very positive. It talks about the game in a positive light, but the writer still decided to throw in his little jab. Why that is? Who really knows? Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. We ended up talking about this on a Saturday Night Hypnosis. If you guys missed it, go check it out every Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we talked about this in depth because you know what? Like this right here. You can make up an excuse all you want, okay? You can say that the uh, the journalist was talking positive about the game so that this little part doesn't matter, but it does. This All of this matters because if we're trying to get to a point where we have actual integral journalism, something with any sort of integrity whatsoever, it is important that little nonsense like this gets taken out of journalism because if you're just putting this in there in order to get rage bait and rage clicks, and at that point, you're not really a journalist, you can't really say you are a journalist and that pretty much takes away your title so let's get into this video guys but of course before we do if you are new here just consider hitting that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that youtube algorithm so let's read this actual post again this is from grums it says it's not new and other games have chosen to highlight the strengths of their female characters but where bayonetta stands out with an iconic character design or a 2b from near automata inspires an entire generation of cosplayers Eve from Stella Blade is just bland, a doll sexualized by someone who has never seen a woman. Now, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is a massive self-owned for a number of reasons. Let's just break this down. So number one, Eve is going to inspire a good amount of cosplayers, okay? If Nier Automata inspired a good amount of cosplayers, I would imagine that Eve is going to do the exact same thing. I've already seen Eve cosplayers coming out, multiple pictures of them, so th she's already inspiring cosplayers. So that right there is not even the truth, okay? That's number one. Number two, to call Eve's design bland? I mean, are you serious right now? What kind of design is exciting to you? Because if Eve is bland, I can only imagine what's exciting to you. I mean, maybe you need like something the, the size of Lizzo to get excited. Who really knows? But Eve is anything but bland, and I think that's a ridiculous statement. Now, the third and final statement here is a doll sexualized by someone who has never seen a woman. Well, it's very interesting you would say that because you're basically saying this about the creator of Eve, and that's ridiculous, okay? You're saying this about the creator of Eve, who obviously has not only a very hot wife, who we're going to go into, number one, and number two, it was designed from a real person. Like, we have a still shot here from the actual model. This still shot has been seen many, many, many times with all the Wokies melting down about Stella Blade, about how this is unrealistic proportions, this is unrealistic beauty standards, and yet it was based off of a real-life model. She literally is scanned from her body anyway, damn near to a one-to-one, -one, and they accentuated her body just slightly to get them jiggle physics going. But ultimately, this is a real beauty standard that a lot of women hold themselves up to just because you yourself may not hold yourself up to it doesn't mean that other women do not. This woman obviously does. Now, the third and final picture we have here that is part of this massive cell phone is the actual creator's wife. <laughs> this is a massive cell phone. I'm sorry. If you look at this picture and you try to tell me that this man, this creator, has never seen a woman before, no, 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 no. What kind of women are you seeing, ladies and gentlemen? That's what I really want to know. What kind of woman is this writer seeing? Because this writer made it seem as if this creator never seen a woman before, and yet his wife, I guarantee you, is hotter than pretty much any woman he has ever come across. I would almost guarantee that. Now, the funny thing is, apparently this writer came out and said that the reason why he put this in there, the reason why he put this particular clip in here is because he had to. He had to, according to his IGN overlords, they had to attach something to the culture war nonsense, and uh, he felt like he had to put that in there. Now, I don't care whether you felt like you had to or you didn't have to. The fact that you put that in there just to keep your job shows that you will do anything to follow orders, and I understand. Listen, 
I'll never fault you for being scared to lose your job. I get that. But let's be real. Gaming, journalism, you could find that job basically anywhere. It's extremely easy to replace. And the fact that you're willing, willing to attack someone and someone's uh, wife, essentially, and trying to say she doesn't exist just so you can throw in a little bit of culture war nonsense so that your article gets clicked on. Hey, listen, it worked right? It worked. I can't even hate you on it. It worked. You got all the clicks you want, but even though it worked, it doesn't mean anything, right? If you get people who are clicking on your article just to simply roast you, you didn't really win anything. All you won was what? A little bit of ad revenue for your website? That's it. People do not take your website seriously. Nobody cares what IGN does in the grand scheme of things. Any award, any review score, any anything that IGN comes out with, nobody cares. Everybody knows IGN is bought and paid for. You don't have any actual gaming journalists there. You don't have any actual reviewers there. They're all bought and paid for if somebody wants a good review just pay one of their journalists you'll get it so we know this to be true ladies and gentlemen and yet people like this still want to throw out those little jabs because they want to say that eve is not realistic right eve you know the, the entire conversation about eve not being realistic is a massive cope from ugly women and trans women okay that's what's the that's what this is about ladies and gentlemen ugly women and trans women are coping over the fact that people are lusting over eve and then they want to say oh well nobody's talking about the gameplay nobody's actually talking about the gameplay at all they're just talking about the jiggle physics well no you're actually incorrect there is a bunch of threads out there on twitter a bunch of posts out there that are showcasing gameplay i've seen so many i've seen twitch streamers playing the game on the demo so what what you think on the on the stream they're just looking at jizzle jiggle physics all day no they're playing the game so you're clearly choosing to either ignore it or you're missing it entirely the gameplay is is actually a good prominent part of the game but yes there is nothing wrong with sex appeal ladies and gentlemen sex sells that is obvious unfortunately for the western audience or the modern audience they have forgotten this right they know that they're so ugly the only way for them to be accepted is by forcing themselves into whatever game is being talked about right now or whatever community is trying to exclude them they're trying to force their way into them because listen we know these people aren't good for gaming okay they don't care about gaming they're not actual gamers they only care to push their ideology in whatever space that they're in right now it just happens to be gaming right now and once gaming filters them out they're gonna go to whatever space in the future and try to push this nonsense again so ultimately ladies and gentlemen i think this is a massive self-own uh probably bigger than review tech usa although I mean, it's kind of hard. Melanie Mac did self-own them pretty good. Actually, no, I take that back. Rich's self-own was worse. But still, this is a massive self-own because, number one, it's IGN, right? IGN deserves it. Number two, there is two real-world real world examples literally in these still shots that you're making this shit up. Like, you you clearly don't know what you're talking about. Not only that, these two women completely debunked the whole unrealistic beauty standards narrative that all the Wokies are using and all the ugly women and trans women are using. It's two real women right here who are upholding themselves to a high beauty standard regardless of their age and they prove everybody wrong it's very easy to prove them wrong you can prove their narrative wrong just by looking a little bit it doesn't even take that it doesn't even take that much to find the information and to find out the truth so I wanted to bring this to you guys because I thought it was hilarious. And also, again, shout out to Grums for sharing this over on his Twitter. If you're not following him, please go follow him and tell him Hypnotic sent you. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.